Well, meet happy 2288. It is New Year's Day here in the Commonwealth, and, uh, you know, I guess it's a brand new year, but, uh, you know, mostly it just feels like another day. Uh, you know, so I couldn't really stand being around Audrey and her sister, so, uh, when I was looking at the map for where we have to go for their job, I came up with an idea for a new project. And I got together with Sturgis and the Mechanist to put it together. But we'll leave that for a little surprise for later. First things first, I want to get that warehouse job for Charlie out of the way. I also want to head over to Diamond City after to meet with Bobby and to uh, collect my bounty for that wet work I did. So, busy day, meet. Let's get to it. Okay, buddy, let's get on the road, shall we? Alright, everybody's out here. Yo, Audrey. Come on. Roger that. All right. All right. Now, let's, um, let's get to it. I guess this is the first place we have to go. Did you hear that? You hear that? Hear what? surprises, aren't you? I am full of surprises. I'm a surprising sort of fellow. Now. Oh, yeah, since last time I was able to uh, upgrade a few of my ballistic That's weapons. That's easier than knocking, I suppose. I've got silencers on my sniper rifle now. Look at this fool. Shoot him right through this hole. Hey. You're dead! Who's dead? Shit. Where'd that come from? Where would come from? You're mine now. Oh. You are dead. Is Heather upstairs? Now just starting to have fun. Time for you to take the fall. Time for who to take the fall? We're splitting all that, right? Sure. Whatever you common say. Common theft is for commoners, darling. First it was there, now it's fooling me. Well, come on, just leave it. Oh, why do you all sound like you're so far away? Stop hiding. We'll make nice. Promise. <laughs> well, we're gonna make real nice now. Must have turned tail and ran. Yep, that's what I did. Oops. You don't see me. I heard. All right, now you see me. Move. Be on your guard. Oh, I'll find. Look at this idiot with a baseball bat. 
That's how we do things around here. All right. Well, I'd say that one, Jim Dandy. Never you mind. Look, I'm here to kill them. It's not really stealing, is it? It's taking the spoils of war. What? Oh, hi. Miss. I'm feeling eyes on my back. Yeah. That was my impression of him. In case you couldn't guess. Gonna kick up my feet after I knock you off. Worth anything? Uh, it's yeah. easy to see you're a fan of pre-war relics. After all, you're traveling with one. And I am one, sort of. Well, sure, I'll have some tasty, de well, delicious, nutritious rad roach meat. Oh, um. Do you smell an Englishman? I'm not English. Every second you hide, I just get madder. Yeah, run, and don't come back. Okay. What was that? That was nothing. Damn it. Come on, he's a ghoul. Hit him in the head. Yeah. Oh. Over there! Get him! Alright. Time for stealth has passed. That's what I call a confirmed kill. Shit, there's another one. There's another level up? Jesus. Shouldn't have crossed us. Too late for that. <laughs> Alright, well, that appears to be this place. Ah, what you get for loot? Eh, nothing good there. Can I take that Mr. Pebbles poster? Because I want that. Hmm, looks like mostly a lot of junk. Kind of surprised they haven't turned these places into houses like mine. Well, they're not going to need that stuff anymore. Nope. No, they're not. They're dead. Don't make me carry that worthless crap. McCready, shut your goddamn face, alright? If I want information to come spilling out of your pie hole, I'll ask for it. Till then, keep fucking quiet. Getting real tired of your lip. I paid for you. Now shut up. <coughs> alright, guess that's about it in this place. Let's move along, shall we? Alright. This is another one. This is another one. Nobody pay any attention to what I'm doing here. Sweet. It is pretty sweet. I'll agree to that myself. <laughs> Oh, hey there. Hi there. Um Full of surprises, aren't I'll you? Make this cool. Now on this one I was able to uh 
make it a little bit stronger and incorporate the silencer directly into its uh, into its design so it's not uh, hanging off like some big goofy thing on the end. Oh, hey. Peace. So I have this nice little compact silenced weapon. Give me that, give me that wonder glue. Stick to the shadows. Doesn't appear to be anybody in this room. Alright, let's be careful. Come on, just leave it. McCready, what did I tell you? You're going down, fool. Peace. Where did that come from? I don't know. Where did it come from? Maybe right here. Oh, I'll find you. Someone's got a beat on us. It's me. Come on down, friendships. Or I'll shoot you right here. I'll do you quick. Oh, I'll do you. I'll do you real good. Come on, get back up in there. I will fucking shoot your legs right out from under you, I swear to fucking God. God damn it. What did I hit? Stand still. Stop hiding. We'll make nice. Promise. Must have turned tail and ran. Damn it. I don't know what the hell I'm hitting, but I can't seem to shoot through that hole. So we're gonna have to get up there. Oh, I suggest on. only taking what we need. There's so many corpses, and only so many pockets. We're splitting all Down that, for the right? Count. Mm. Get him, you mug! <laughs> Bye bye now. Damn. I was just starting to have fun. I didn't really want the insta mash, but all right. Don't get me wrong. I like some good instant mashed potatoes, but um handcuffs. What kind of kinky stuff are you getting up to, friend? stuff worth anything? Did I ask for your opinion, McCready? Surprise, I didn't. All right, anybody still up here? Somebody left their jet up here. That's good enough for me. Isn't this cute? Looks like my uh, friends must have done some fancy shooting upstairs. Because I didn't hit this guy, that's for damn sure. Alright. 
place must be clear. Well, sure, I'll take some caps. Bullets, drugs, all the good stuff. Good neighbor knows what's up. Duct tape, sure. Bullets, caps, drugs, and duct tape. All the best things in life. Alright, should be just one more of these now. I suppose I could put on some tunes while I uh, murder people senselessly. the other uh, warehouse chem deal gone bad outside diamond city the tales are scarce but it sounds like whatever happened it was pretty violent while there's no official connection it has been noted that diamond city resident henry cook went missing at approximately the same time i know nothing about this chem deal you speak of better keep your iron strapped on friendly advice pass them on don't worry baby i'm handy with the steel I buy and sell. Just, Just another day in the Commonwealth, huh, folks? There's no getting away from Ray Smith. Here's right behind you, baby. Getcha. Yes. You find it yet? You're full of surprises, aren't you? It's okay. Just hold on to your ass. It's like all I'm good for is waiting around. Jesus. Oops. Mm, you can keep your potted meat. Danger. They got the drop on us. All right, fine. Peace, bro. Around here. That is how we do things around here, McCready. You got that right for once. We're not going to need that stuff anymore. Don't make me carry that worthless crap. Look, I'm not a vampire anymore. I don't have a coffin. This <laughs> is. That was tough. Uh, was it? If you say so, Heather. Bye. Oh dear. That's what I call a confirmed kill. Cool. Good job, McCready. Look at him. He took his hat off. Showing us his fashy haircut. There's still somebody upstairs. Okay. Well, we'll get to them. Did I? I mean, I'm still alive and most of your friends are dead, so what does that tell you? You're nothing, low rent trash. Ooh, sick burn. Right, how the hell do I get up to this guy? Over here. Hey, buddy. You need a head, right? Oh, yeah. I'm guessing that reminds you of the old days. illuminating. This is how things are done on Good Neighbor. This is how politics happen. Well, let's go see White Chapel Best Charlie. In the What's out the troublemakers? 
keep that in mind. Oh, I'll keep it in mind. You're blocking my light, man. Hey, doll. I've heard some exterminator cleaned out the rats in the old warehouses. Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Look, Charlie. This is a town full of pimps, dealers, pushers, drug addicts, murderers. Why are you being coy? I killed a bunch of people. Rats? What are you talking about? Oh, me? I'm just shooting the breeze, Gov. Don't pay me no mind. By the way, you left some caps behind last time you were here. Big them out, too. Lucky old Charlie is watching out for you. Right. Thanks, Charlie. He asked me what you flavor. Mm -hmm. Said I need a favor. That was a nice ride, I must say. But yes. it's a busy day. Stay free indeed. All right, now I suppose I'll uh, show everybody the secret project I was working on. Built a little something over at the uh, Boston Airport. Figure with the Brotherhood running that place, it's nice and safe. So it seemed like a good place to do a bit of building. So, I was looking at my map. I saw where we have to go for Audrey's job is way over here on the coast. So I was thinking to myself, you know, that's a long walk. And, uh... You know, being a man of the sea, I notice things like a whole bunch of boats on the rivers and the in the bay around here, just still seaworthy, but just collecting dust. Nobody's using them, so I figure, why not fix one up? So that's just what we did. Behold the red wave. Even hired a guy named Tanner here. To, uh, you know, be my first mate, take care of the ship when I'm not around. Well, you know, it's a, it's a little fishing boat kind of thing that I fixed up. Tanner apparently uses it to fish when I'm not around, but, uh, you know, got a little bunk here. Here's the engine. And, you know, I've got myself some little, you know, living quarters. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing fancy, of course, but, uh... It suffices. And then if we go up here, I've got, uh, you know, some of the basic crafting stuff ready to go here. We've got armor and weapons, and a power armor station. Bunch of storage all over the place. This is the fuel tank, which I think I've got some stuff that I can use for fuel here. These gas canisters, that oil can. Yeah, that should all work as fuel, so I'll put that in there. And, uh, yeah. Now I've got myself a little boat, and we can travel right to where we're gonna go, pretty much. Now, if I recall correctly, from my, from Nate's memory anyways, Croup Manor should be right around the, uh, area that we're looking to go in, uh, Nahant. Ah, oh, feels good to be on the sea again. Ooh, Tanner's doing push-ups. Alright, well, we found a little dock here. It's uh, kind of half underwater, but... Oh, let me just... Stick that in the, uh... In the fuel tank. Thanks to Connie Allen for that trip on Rocket 69. It's a two Boink. Alright. Now... Look at this, we are right at the place. Often in short supply in the Commonwealth boats. So I'm happy to be able to deliver a little bit to you. Summer estate. If you were one Actually, you know what? <clears throat> I have a feeling it could be a little crowded in here with everybody detective. following me around, so... And have some of these jackasses wait outside. Yeah, wait there. 
Okay. Just give me a shout when you need me. You too, me. Hey, hold position. Where's Heather? And if there's any more good news to share, you'll hear it first here on Diamond City Radio. The next one is Keep a Knockin' by Louis Jordan. Heather, where the hell are you? So long, Mom. I'm off to drop the bomb. So don't wait I don't know where Audrey and uh, Margaret are either. They're still on the boat. Yeah, they are. I don't know why, but they are. Got it. Well, you stay here on the boat, Heather. At least I'll know where to find you. The rest of you come with me. Here we are. The old summer home. It's just as tacky as I remember it. Hmm, I don't know. Looks like any other ruin in the Commonwealth to me. My number is 47. All right. I'll enter the full code now. What is it you think we'll find, anyway? I don't know. Gold, jewels, baseball cards. Could be anything. The old man was secretive. We must have had different fathers. The one I remember would go out of his way to tell you about his exploits. Only when he was drunk. That should do it. Shall we? You guys make a mess everywhere you go. Pretty nice security. On entering the safe room, your father would have been very pleased you managed to make it this far. Of course, there's no guarantee the five of you work together, and as such, further proof is needed. You can't be serious. As you'll note, mm. there are five rooms in this house, each with a self-contained test designed specifically for the five of you. Pass them all, and you unlock the main safe. Except there's only two of us here. Don't bother. It's a recording. It's a miracle this piece of scrap even functions after all this time. Now go forth, sirs and madams, and reap the rewards that can only come from working together. So, the entire house is a safe. I assume cracking our puzzles will be easy. The rest will take some ingenuity. We'll have to act like our siblings. Or, even worse, think like them. I'll leave that to you and your friend. You were always mocking everyone's mannerisms. Perhaps that might pay off here. Oh, well, good. I, I have to do your work for you? He was a fine chef. Guess that means I get three fifths of the loot. That's why he chose to have his servants cook for him instead. Arthur's test will likely be the stage room. He always enjoyed a good play. Antoinette's, I assume, will be in her bedroom. Something violent, I presume. Mine likely involves some sort of robotics or science experiment, so I'll head over to the lab. We can meet up when we're done. Fantastic. You've got your job, and I've got mine. We can meet up when it's over. This is all stealing, huh? That's a damn shame. What the hell's going on here? Audrey, you coming? Jesus Christ. Test one, baking. Barnaby, if you would please make father's favorite meal. Ah, I believe that would be squirrel stew. It's a joke, really. Barnaby called father a squirrely man and cooked it for him without ever telling him the contents. I never really knew if father liked the stew or not, or if he knew what Barnaby was up to. I suppose in the end he didn't care. He just wanted to spend time with his son. Wanted to spend time with his son who fed him squirrel stew? Weirdo. Some ingredients might no longer exist, as well as some measurements. So we can't be sure the wasteland recipe is the same. The original recipe might have included tomatoes and potatoes. A hybrid of that would work, but half a potato and half a tomato aren't one of either. Yes, my dear? Nothing. That's all. All right, so... Hmm. One potato, one tomato, diced carrot, blood leaf, squirrel meat chunks, and four cups of water. Did blood leaf exist before the war? I don't know. Anyways, if it's one tomato and one potato, 
then two Tato's should cover that. Hmm, how much, how many cups are these purified water? I don't know, maybe two cups? Maybe one? Maybe, I don't know. Um, I don't know, let's just head over here to the stove and see what happens. <clears throat> Decided to first add the broth. Going by the recipe, how many bottles of water will you add? Let's go with two. The pot is boiling and it's time to add the vegetables. All the ingredients you need are scattered about the kitchen in the cupboards. The recipe calls for a potato and a tomato which no longer exist. What will you add to the pot? Well, a carrot, two potatoes, and a blood leaf. It's now time to add the meat to your squirrel stew. You find some bits lying about for that purpose. About that. About that for the purpose of the exercise will work as well as any in your personal stock. There's also a few dead roaches lying in the corner. What will you put in the pot? Dead roaches. No, we will put the squirrel in. The stew appears good and ready. Congratulations, Barnaby. You passed your portion of the test. Please proceed to the next wow. Look at me. I'm a regular wasteland Escoffier. What is it, my dear? Nothing. Why don't you tell me what's going on next? All right. So, what will this test be? I'd assume it'd be the Bard, or something from that time period. For this test, you will need to perform the play, The Silver Shroud. Of course. A lot of silver shrouding for me lately. Arthur memorized them all because he knew it would bother me to no end. Unfortunately, I'll need you to read the lines, darling. I couldn't possibly do it justice. Don't worry. If you get stuck, just spout out the most incomprehensible nonsense you can think of, and you'll be fine. Hmm. Well, luckily for you, I am the Silver Shroud. I don't even need the replica costume, but I guess I'll use it. Yep, that's me. Please proceed to the next phase. Hey there. What do you want, stranger? Can't you say I'm busy selling drugs to kids? Hmm. That does take up a lot of your time, does it? Peddling poison to kids, are we? You have taken your last life, villain. I don't think so. I can poison as many children as I want and no one can stop me. Because in Boston, the mob owns the police. Yeah, well, I'm not the police, am I? Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. But today, you face the Silver Shroud. Ah, the Dark Dick himself. I thought the you'd Dark be Dick? And if you think That's my porn name. Yourself can stop me, then you're as foolish as the human who designed that getup. Um, you're supposed to be a human too, dude. Stay in character. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud. And righteous justice. Ah, but there's another thing standing between you and justice. This helpless child, Timmy. And if you want to you punish that me, mannequin that just appeared? Kill him to do it. For I've taken him hostage. Hmm. Well, okay. You shield yourself behind an innocent. You are craven. And you shall fall before me. We'll see about that. I guess, uh, hit him with the catchphrase. I am the instrument of justice, and I cannot fall. Death has come for you, evildoer, and I am its shroud. Congratulations, Arthur. You've passed your portion of the test. Please proceed to the next phase. Sweet. It looks like that did the trick. And just in the nick of time. Any longer and I would have shot you myself. You know, Audrey was probably hot before she was a ghoul. Yeah, let's put my regular clothes back on. Please proceed to the. 
I got all my pieces on. Yeah. Next phase. Excellent. Well, hello there. I can take all this purified water now. And the potatoes and the booze. Thank you. Anything else I want in here? Probably not. Oh, booze. Antoinette had anger issues. She reminds me of a feral ghoul. Or rather, ghouls remind me of her. If you're ready <laughs> to start the test, press the button on the wall there. So your sister was a violent girl, eh? Sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that means I'm probably gonna have to break shit in here. Mm, I guess that baseball bat would work pretty good for that. Let's get to it. Your Geiger counter seems to have lost its mind, which means we have to work quickly. We'll have to think like my sister. Destroy everything in the room. See if that stops it. Congratulations, Antoinette. You passed your portion of the test. Please Goody. The next phase. Breaking things. All the tests. I love the sound of Let's breaking glass. It's a bit heavy on the rads, though, there, son. Please proceed to the next phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch to a different weapon, too. Whee! Well, I hope these ladies didn't cause you too much trouble. They're not ladies. They're machines. And I'm sure disabling them was as simple as pressing 300 buttons. At least that much. Not that you'd understand anyway. Regardless, it looks like all that's left is your room. I can't wait to see what horrors await inside. Don't worry, Margaret. I doubt it's anything I haven't shown you already. Not that you are paying attention. Let's go. Well, you know, just to be on the safe side. Actually, let me see. Maybe use something with the uh, more plentiful amounts of ammo. Yes, my dear. You don't stop halfway to grab yourself a bite to eat. I mean, you can if you want to. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I kind of do what I want. That's all. I get back to shooting things. This doesn't have very plentiful ammo either, does it? How about the uh, sniper rifle? It's not particularly plentiful either, but I suppose I use it less often. Kind of takes a while though, doesn't it? I think I was probably best with the Union Blaster.
All right. What's this? A room with a holotape? I just had to disable three Assaultrons before they ripped me to shreds, and this is all that's waiting for you? Congratulations, Audrey. You've passed your portion of the test. The door to the safe is open. I suppose that's that then. Should we listen to the holotape? Let's just go. Anything made for you, I have no interest in exposing myself to. Oh, I don't know. It's probably worth a listen. Knowledge is power, ladies. Uh, what the hell is it called? Audrey's father's last request, probably. Immortality. Yeah, I suppose they've sort of achieved immortality, but I don't think in the way that you were talking about. Hmm. I'm also effectively immortal, so. Folks, I'd, I'd like to take a moment for something a little more personal. As I'm sure you Mysterious know, serum. Well, I haven't always been the best. At You've got to be kidding me! All this work for a single vial? Let's not Thanks jump to conclusions. Father was nothing if not a predictable man. This vial is a special serum developed by a friend of your father's. Contained inside are the secrets of immortality itself. Immortality? <laughs> well, this is a fine joke. You don't right. say. I suspected the prize was That's worthless, but it's even worse than that. It's ironic. Get it on back to the I am sorry to interrupt your joyous celebration, but I must inform you that I have now fulfilled my duties as guardian of your father's estate. Good luck to all of you. Well, I suppose it's not a total loss. I'll take that vial, thank you very much. Really, Margaret? It's a serum that grants you immortality. Double cross, eh? Might as well be a state of the art. I was expecting that. It may not be worth anything to us, but it's worth something to somebody. Which makes it a valuable commodity all the same. Wait a minute, I killed them. You them disable those assault trons. You reprogrammed them. There really was no need. If I wanted to kill you, Margaret, I assure you, my friend over here could. You're all talk, you know that? It's funny. Arthur said you were street smart. That you were the one person who couldn't be swayed by sentiment. And in the end, you just gave me your half of the combination. You'll find I've given you much, much more. That is, if you ever bother to look. Huh. Goodbye, sister. Don't spend it all in one century. Well, we're letting her go? Uh, well, I suppose. What is it, my dear? Nothing. Nothing else for now. But if that's, uh, I guess you're the boss on this job, so it's your fucking sister. I suppose my take of everything else was good enough. Why don't you get the hell out of here? Go! What are you 
you doing? Do you not know how to use stairs? The stairs start here. Jesus H. Christ. Yeah, maybe if I fucking sit down and wait, she'll figure it out. Alright, so we're back, and I believe I have fixed it. Well, that ends that. I appreciate the restraint you showed. Margaret may not have had a high opinion of me, but in time she may realize what she really gained from all this. Well, she gained a buttload of caps that uh, we didn't gain. What happened between you two? Well, a better question would be, what happened between you five? The five of us played each sibling against the other, like a game. In the end, we forgot who hated whom and why. Regardless, I'd say poor Margaret left the real prize behind. Oh. It's a lesson I learned in D.C. Immortality doesn't have to be dreadful, provided you spend it in good company. In fact, given your knack for pacifism, uh, I think traveling... I think you have me confused with someone else. Hopefully, you feel the same. I was just following orders. But, uh, sure. Of course. Traveling with you is never dull. And more than murder and theft, being dull is quite possibly the worst crime I can imagine. I'd agree with that. I'm pleased to hear my case won't be going to trial. But enough with the hugs and kisses. You have work to do, right? Then let's do it. All right. Social climber. And I leveled up. Perks. Over here. Thanks to your relationship with Audrey, you receive 1.5 times the value for selling goods and 1.5 times more likely to pass a charisma check. Excellent. Alright, let's um, increase my hacking skills. It's been lagging behind. Well, don't mind if I do. It's all still stealing, huh? Okay, sada, sada. All right, well, it's a lovely day in the Commonwealth. Let's get back to my neat little ship here. I can't really pilot it to where I'm going. Oh, look at this. Heather's reading a newspaper. She looks kind of funny in her grognak costume. Hey, come on. On it. So, like I was saying, I can't really pilot this to where I'm going. But, uh, probably best to leave it somewhere, you know, safe and stable. Where the hell's meat? Told me to wait on the ship. Uh, you having trouble there, McCready? Uh, he was right here, I think. Did he fall in the water or something? I don't see him. Upstairs? No, he's not upstairs. Whatever. Hopefully he'll show up when we move. Um, Alright, well, let's move the ship. Now, where's gonna be a good spot to kind of park it for general purposes? Hangman's Alley is uh, relatively close to Diamond City. Shamrock Tap House is relatively close to um, Good Neighbor. Shamrock Tap House might be a good spot. Ooh. 
Or Boston Airport. I mean, that could be good too. But, you know, this seems fine. Find him. Oh. oh, there he is. Strangely. Everybody here. Neat. Audrey. McCready was around somewhere. I guess Heather is uh, possibly not here. She should have been. She was following me. Oh, there she is. Okay. Everybody's here. Now, to Diamond City. I guess I don't really need Audrey with me anymore now. I haven't been to Diamond City in years. I'll tell you. Nothing's changed. Darling, are you sure about this? New issue of the public. I am not a normal girl. My dear, you're perfect. I only wish I had realized that sooner. Then by the hmm. power invested in me, I pronounce I you some man for us. and wife. Here's yours. You helped me make a very big decision. So Thank the you. teacher just I married the I robot. Love is now. Okay. All right, let's see here. There's a new issue of the pub of public occurrences now that I've actually sent Piper back here to work on it. Um, let's see here. <laughs> <coughs> How a DJ Got His Groove Back by Piper Wright. If you've tuned into Diamond City Radio recently, you'll have noticed a drastic change to one of our best loved residents. Travis Miles' transformation has been the talk of the town. From a shy and mild manner from shy and mild manner to a smooth talking, bar brawling ladies man. Public occurrences brings you the story behind the makeover and the stranger who helped him achieve it. We begin on a fateful evening at Diamond City's premier joint for debauchery. The dugout in. Bartender Vadim Bobrov sets the scene. It was a quiet evening. Usual regulars. Then tough guy parade in. Out of town types. I think they're looking for Vadim's famous moonshine. But they just pace around. Do not even order. Who comes to bar not to drink? Then Travis walks in. Travis never walks in. I love the kid, but you think he has more rat deliver food to trailer. I see him so little. Our Travis, he is easy prey. I realized then that they just come to pick fight. Travis would not be drawn, but the visitors wouldn't let it lie. As the crowd egged him on, a stranger stepped into the fray. The sole survivor of Vault 111. Until then, a silent observer decided to help the DJ in his predicament. The pair won, and it seemed the spur that Travis conf Travis's confidence needed. He said more visits, he made more visits to the dugout, reportedly courting the barmaid Scarlet, until one day, Vadim wasn't there to greet him. In an apparent act of revenge for their humiliating brawl, the visitors from that night at the bar had kidnapped the barman, seeking to draw Travis into a confrontation. He would have to meet them at the old Beantown Brewery, a notorious raider stronghold. For all his recent prowess, he was outnumbered, outgunned, and alone. This would surely be the end of him. 
but miraculously, he arrived to find his guardian angel, the sole survivor. The emergent Minuteman general had just heard the news from Vadim's brother and arrived just in the nick of time. There was no hesitation, and the pair enacted some shotgun diplomacy. So it was that Vadim was saved, the pair shared a raider stash, and Diamond City Radio got an overdue refresh. If this sounds like way too happy an ending for the Commonwealth, take solace. Things with Scarlet didn't quite work out. So if you see Travis around, tell him to keep his chin up and congratulate him on a job well done. There's a war on, and we need good people like him to keep fighting the good fight. Man, you screwed things up with Scarlet, Travis. What a loser. Well, I guess that means she's uh, okay, been asking questions around town. available again. Say you. Shut up. Uh, yeah, he's as dead as your fucking hey. kid. So, is Morosky dead? I just said he's as dead as your fucking kid. Dead as can be. Here's what I owe you. As far as I'm concerned. This is the last time we ever need to you speak. You should meet my grandson. Mm, thanks for the caps, oh, old man. He would ever come up here. No. Hey, I wanted to send Audrey home. <clears throat> yes, my dear. Get out of here. I think it's best if we went our separate ways. Understood. You know where to find me should you need me again. You don't actually belong here. The ghouls aren't allowed. You and your mercenary friend keep your guns. I'm surprised no one's shooting at you yet. Kavish? Now then, Bobby said to meet her at the noodle stand. Oh, that must be her in the uh, in the gas mask. There you are. Huh. Was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it, and that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. I mean... I got no love for that pompous prick. Or any politician, for that matter. So this is all for a good cause. Don't get me wrong. The caps are my primary motivation. If I get to take them from a bigot, that's just icing. So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is... He's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. What am I supposed to do? Just stroll in and ask them to let him go? I'm not sure this is a good idea. All my ideas are good. This is the guy we need. Trust me. Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. The usual stuff? I mean, look, I've had my troubles with the law, but I'm not really in the habit of breaking people out of jail. Well, We're fine. Let's see what we can do. Never call your mother a simp, unless she really is one. I guess I've never actually been in the security office here before. Not really a big fan of cops, you know. All right. Well, that Jeez, must... pal. I like guns too. But you think you might be overcompensating there? Settle down, big boy. So that must be our boy there in prison. What is this? The evidence locker? Oh wait, no. Chems are legal here, so they wouldn't be. Um, let's see. Ah. Uh... Hmm. A technical document, you say? Yoink. This might be the evidence locker. You watch your step. I got my eye on you. A couple bathrooms. You're heading outside the wall. 
want to stock up at Commonwealth Weaponry first. Hmm. Where'd that protector? Protector on all about. Can I help you? Ah, uh, you know, just uh, looking for love in all the wrong places, friend. Do you come here often? You know, they always say you'll meet that special someone in the last place you expect. So why are you here? You want something from me, right? Hey, you know what else they say? Don't drop the soap. I hear you're some kind of tech expert. You heard right. Well, maybe tech is too general. I have a thing for robots. Oh? No, not that kind of thing. Oh. But I know my way around most machines, yeah. Why? Need my help? I need your help not ruining my jokes, you asshole. But, uh, no, I'm here to, uh, bust you out of here. No, I'm here to help you. Mm-hmm. You need me for something, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. They need something. Right. right. Totally unrelated, but I hear that there's an old glitched-out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head-scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? That was easy. Powering up for all the hits right there. Oh, it's on. What you say? Violence happen? will not be tolerated. I don't know, but I'm going to see how this all plays out. Sounds like fun out there. Engagement with multiple tiles in progress. Please stand clear of mine now. Combat area. Mm, he doesn't look like he's doing too good. Mostly because he's fighting off my friends. Dead. Damn. We're splitting all that, right? Diamond City surplus is where you can sell. All right. Well, that doesn't seem to be helping him uh, get out of here. She kept the cap off the toothpaste. Know who does that? A synth. You might be paranoid, officer. You got something to say? Yeah. Um. I don't think the threat's a really good idea. I was hoping to get Mel at a lockup. I didn't know Mel had friends. All right, he's pretty much done his time. Let me open up the door. All right, Commonwealth. That was easy. Buddy. You read that article? Public Diamond City Radio. Damn sense could be anywhere. Up next, Frankie Carl and Marjorie. Let's just get out of here. One more tomorrow. H is See? Could have had to pay 300 caps for that, but uh, this silver tongued devil can get anybody out of here. Mel. Thanks for getting me out. Yes. So, you're Bobby's new toy. Ew, no. I am not into ghouls. I'm not anyone's toy. Right. Bobby sure knows how to pick the gullible ones. God. Excuse me? That woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait, like, a day? What's the job? You've worked jobs with Bobby before? Enough to know she's not the most trustworthy person around. The team may change, but every job comes with the same set of cryptic instructions as the next. <laughs> yeah, you'd have better luck milking a rabbit Yaogwai than getting a straight answer out of Bobby. You've been playing Red Rocket with Yaogwai, you fucking creep? <sighs> well, I guess I might as well uh, get you interested. How'd you like to help break into the Diamond City strong room? Well, damn. That's a big score. 
Could be enough caps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in the end. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. Alright. Well, easy enough. Uh, let's head back on to uh, Good Neighbor. Everyone worked for the group. And the produce went into a common storehouse to be doled out in equal shares. Quickly found that this mode of living would not work without the forfeiting of individual freedom, private ownership, and self-reliance. The communistic experiments at Jamestown and Plymouth Colony were the pure farm, only as a magnet to draw its victims into quite a different system. But let's go back to this earthbound religion for millions. Following under the banner of Marx and later that of Lenin and Stalin, the communists have always clearly identified their myth as capitalism and Christianity. As long as capitalism and socialism exist, we cannot live in one or the other will triumph. A funeral dirge will be sung over the Soviet Republic or world capitalism. Capitalism and Christianity. <coughs> as long All right. as capitalism and socialism exist, we cannot live in one or the other will triumph. Got yourself into trouble again now. What can I say? All right, learn from the best. All here. Mel, you want to introduce your little friend? Yep. Meet Sonia. This little bot is going to help us move through the earth like a mole rat on jet. Oh, wasting good drugs on mole rats is a crime against nature. Oh, yeah. Because a robot with no limbs is exactly what you want for your digging operation. What did you expect? A Mr. Handy with a shovel? Mm. She's one of Three shovels, maybe. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can loosen any sediment around. Mel says we'll be able to a get new to weapon. A, strong a weapon that relies on sound. And it's a hell of I want my name to be a killing word. Place up with dynamite. All right, guys, get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourselves. Sonia, oh, good. do your thing. So, what's the deal with the new guy? Oh, I got lucky with this one. Came right up to my door and took the job. He takes orders, and he's useful to the fights. What more could I want? And he's not so bad to look at, either. Maybe we oh, jeez. Guess I shouldn't have done that joke flirting with Mel. Didn't know he was into that sort of thing. Oh, hi. Bruce, an artifice to capture the minds and control the behavior of royal Americans. Damn, and in a now he's just starting to have cases, fun. They are successful in doing so. I am hopeful that after this exposition of communism, each of you will agree that it is in the interest of Christianity, mm -hmm. and even your self-preservation, that we know this evil force bet on world domination and dedicate ourselves to resisting its growth. Who's there? Next week, we should examine our own system. Capitalism. But for now, class dismissed. You're mine now. Got you. That's how we do things around here. You ready to die, asshole? I don't know what the hell's going on here, hatchlings? That's what I call a confirmed kill. Blow torture. I'll take the water, sure. Uh, Alright, here. Send your robot up we here. We need Sonya here. Got it. Sonya, blast time. In the meantime, I'll be uh, looting the place. It'd be better if we moved out of the radiation. I agree. For once. I don't generally care for you that much, McCready, but uh, when you're right, you're right. Alright, well, let's get any intact uh, Mirelurk eggs, cook up some omelets later. Alright, I guess that's about it. Let's see what's through here. I don't know about you, but this seems like a dead on my back. Oh, hi! Oh, dear! What are you? I don't know, but I don't like you. Mm, power armor. Ooh, 
Let's get fancy armor. Of some sort. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to take this, aren't I? Or make somebody else take it, more likely. Oh, Heather! On it. Fantastic. Now you're wearing power armor and wielding an axe, so it's uh, really interesting. Uh, yeah, that's all I want out of there. All right, so oh, here's another wall. I guess. Mel, blast get Sonya out. over here. Sonya, you know what to do. Do it, Sonya. How did McCready already get through here? Stop teleporting, McCready. Fucking synth. Oh, hello. Hello, my friends. Neat. Don't just jump right in there. Got you. See if I can get his other legs. Now the bitch can't move. Ouch. God damn, there's a lot of you. What the hell is me? You are dead. Alright, let's, uh... Time for some drugs. While there's no official connection, it has been noted that Diamond City... Medix. Psycho. Nate cannot handle his drugs. Not like I can. Just right, give me a ice cold Nuka Cola Quantum. Going down. Your turn. Bring it. Okay. What are we still shooting at? Oh. Uh. Hmm. You're gonna eat it, motherfucker. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. You're mine now. Got him. Oh, there he is. Powered combat armor left leg. Find I'll take it for now. Depends on your definition of useful, really. Over here, Mel. Gotcha. Sonya. Do your thing. But first, yeah, here we go, loot, duct tape, um, I didn't really get to look around up here. I guess that's about it, alright. We're in the subway, are we? Looks like the subway tunnel. Then we're on the right track. Ah, I see what you did there. What? No. Just keep heading southwest. We need to find a place to blast out of these tunnels. Ghouls. All right. This weapon is not real necessary for ghouls. Switch to something a little more low powered. Looks like it hurt. Safety off. My safety's never on. Oh, hello.
your vapor. Mel's not looking too good over there. Alright, that was fun. Oh, we got a few more friends. Alright. Okay. Oh. I'm down. Yeah. And that boy's down. Why are camels by far America's most popular cigarette? Oh, aren't you gonna tell me? You should know. You're the one talking about it. How does one prove mildness? Not one single case of throat irritation due to smoking camel. Try camels yourself. Then you'll know why camel leads all other brands by billions of Don't cigarettes make... per year. I didn't really mean to pick up the teddy bear. What cigarettes do you smoke, doctor? That question was asked a few years ago of one hundred and thirteen thousand five hundred and ninety-seven doctors. Oh, that worthless the brand crap. most that's usually what I say when I've taken a woman's clothes off, McCready. Not when I've picked a lame lock. You need to settle down. Hmm. Got it. Cool. I always thought those computers were a waste of time. You thought wrong, McCready. Bah. Gotcha. Time. Nice. This far-reaching test was made. Hundreds of people from coast to coast People with normal throats smoked only camels for 30 days. Hmm. Each I wonder what station this is. Specialists examined the throats of these smokers. They made 2,470 examinations and reported not one single case of throat irritation. Due to smoking camels, try camels for 30 days and see how mild, how flavorful, how enjoyable a cigarette An overdue can book. Be. Special message. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the makers of camels have sent more than 198 million gift camels to our armed forces. This week, gift camels... Give soldiers the gift of veterans cancer. Veterans Hospitals, Framingham, Massachusetts, and Durban, Michigan. U.S. Naval Hospital, San Diego, California. Oh, uh, 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 I swear I heard something. Oh, hi. Oh, man, my drugs wore off. I hate it when that happens. You're gonna eat it, motherfucker. Yeah, he sure did seem to eat your axe. Hey, move it. Well, we're not gonna need that stuff anymore. They sure aren't. Mm, 
future. I'm guessing that reminds you of the old days. Yeah. I wouldn't touch that pie. I don't trust anything that looks that perfectly preserved after 200 years. Well, from what I hear, you don't like pie at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there we go. We need to get through here, Mel. No problem. Come on, Sonya. Yo. Just fancy shooting. One, two. Get him. Now, oh, come on, shoot him. There you go. Bring right, it. Good enough. Dog needs down this or my You're gonna I would give him a stim pack if you people would let me in. You're mine now. All right. Gotcha. Chalked up another kill for me. I'm sure you've all seen or heard about the latest issue of public occurrences. A blazing tire all iron. Claims by our intrepid reporter. Ooh. Okay. Come on, just leave it. The mayor's Greedy, shut your goddamn course, fucking pie hole. God, I hate you. Me? Hey. See where this goes. Man by Billy Ward and the Dominoes. Right here on Diamond City Radio. Oh. Well, oh. Sure we're not alone. You're shooting your poop at me or something. I'm not a fan of that. Shell, torso. Yeah, sure, shoots torso. Uh, that Myrler just um, went through a wall. You don't get to play with my pit boy. Got it. Like you've done that a few times. Once or twice. Alright, now where? Oh, 
We need Sonya here. Sonya, you know what to do. Do it, Sonya the robot. See what's this way? And you always like to go out in front, don't you, Mel? But you're not very good at fighting. And all you seem to have is a knife. Oh hi! Fuck. Looks like this place was run by Mr. Handy. Maybe I can fix one up and... I think the one robot is enough, Mel. All right. Wouldn't have taken Stop whining. Out of the way, Sonya. I'll stay right here. I look through a magazine the missionary's wife would see. Magazine? What happened? I see how people who are civilized bung you with automobiles. Can you get hurt that way? At the movies, they have got to pay many coconuts to see. What do they see, boo boo? Uncivilized pictures that the news reel takes of me. Okay. Don't want no pet house shower, street cars and taxis noise in my lot smokes. So no matter how they coax him, I'll stay right. Hey, it's safe. Yes. Come on, leave it. I know it's smoking and it's you start collecting antiques. We need to get through here, Mel. Got it. Sonia, blast time. Blast him. Back in the subway again? I didn't really want to pick up that baby rattle, but... Sure ain't. We did it, the zombies. Hey, Jangles, my buddy. Hmm, how come these guys aren't waking up? Goody, more fighting. That's how we do I mean, I'm okay with them not waking up right away, but it's just kind of odd. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having superpowers if that's what you're asking me. Oh, hello. You're not very good. You are dead. Now that's what I call a confirmed kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stalker's laser sniper rifle. Okay. I didn't really mean to take that, but okay. Let me out. Er. Okay, there we go. Psycho jet. Yes, please. Sonya, that wasn't so bad. 
Where did he come from? Blast the damn wall, will you? Jesus. Let me out. fucking circle. God damn it. Well, I remember there was a split back here. Well, I suppose at least I got all this loot. my friend always we're getting really close there's a brewery near our stronghold a brewery you say i'm your host Eastman. travis in lonely mountains. brewery you say mel no just kidding i like mel's priorities now here's roy brown singing oh hello fellers here at the feral ghoul brewery we craft the finest Rad infused micro brews. Gotcha. There's a glowing one down there. There he is. Creedy, you might want to get out of my way. For fuck's sake. Aren't you a sniper? Get back. You're still alive? Fuck. Bring it. Anybody else want to take a break? <laughs> I'm good. Two shot armor piercing automatic catalyst. Jesus. What's the point of picking up that junk? Could give meat something to do. Alright, where to now? Ooh, a deathclaw hand. Wait a minute. What would I be impressed with? I'm the one that just fucking killed that fool. Those computers were a waste of time. Yeah, you've mentioned. Not really uh, too much back there, considering. Bye bye.
Mel, get Sonya over here. No problem. Come on, Sonya. Do your thing, robot. Was that the only way? Yeah, I guess it was. Okay. Very dusty back here. I can barely see. Activate it. Maybe he has to get closer. Bobby, getting closer. Um, are we? Yeah, I've heard some uh, shitty things about you. You don't seem to have a very good reputation. Look, I'm a ghoul woman with big ideas. There's no way I could get anything done without ruffling a few feathers. Okay. Where's your boy Mel? Oh, there he is. Mel. If Bobby's directions are correct, and I have my doubts, the strong room should be right through there. If you had anything else you wanted to check out in this tunnel, I suggest you do that first. Wait, you have doubts? Doubts? It just doesn't seem like we're under Diamond City, does it? I don't think Bobby's telling us everything about this job. Mm, no. I'm ready. Only way to find out. Let's do this. Ready, Sonya? Poof. And how do we get up there? Bobby. Great. Now my socks are wet. Well, guys, we're right under the Diamond City Strong. You sure this is the right place? I've been mapping it out, and I think Diamond City should be a little further north of here. I don't have a doubt in my mind. How about a little trust for the boss? No, oh, I sure don't have any. Tell the truth, Bobby. Where are we? Under the Diamond City Strong Room. And that is the last time I'm saying it. We still need a way to get up there, though. Mel, you think your robot will work here? Look at this place. The foundation is already crumbling. One blast from Sonya, and I bet the floor above will come right down. Well, then make it so. Engage. Room for this collapsing foundation and all. Good thinking. All right, let's go back here. Sonya, prepare yourself for a blast at maximum power. Blast him! That didn't sound good. Hope Sonya's okay. Now let's get up into that strong room, shall we? Oh no, 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 Sonya! Pull yourself together. Oh well. I'll take her circuit board. She will be remembered when I make something out of her circuit board. I won't really remember, but you know. What's the point of picking up that junk? Greedy, one day I'm gonna load up all this junk into the uh, junk jet and shoot it all at your fucking face. Alright, so what are we supposed to be doing here? We're just going through this door? Is that it? I guess so. This Bobby just went through there. Well, let's follow her, shall we? No. Thing on your wrist be clicking that much? Bobby, uh -oh. what are you doing here? Shit. You seriously Yet another breaking didn't story here in Diamond City, scheme? folks. If you I'll bring you up in, speed. Bobby. And you're still Diamond City's own Don't listen to her. Wait a minute. What's the stylish ghoul have to do with this? What does this have to do with Hancock? Yeah, about that. As Mel guessed, this isn't the Diamond As City strong room. I see the rest of you are in the dark about this. No, nice. oh, hey, baby. You all just broke into Hancock's storeroom. You know. 
Hancock, the mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys, I know this isn't what you expected, but there are still a ton of caps on the line here. Help me take her out, and all of it is ours. This is Hancock we're ripping off here. The guy tends to hold grudges. Counteroffer. Just go back into your tunnel, and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? You bitch. You had me break into the vault of the mayor of my new hometown? The powerful criminal mayor who has no problem killing people? What is this about, Bobby? Why did you lie to us? I knew no one in their right mind would help me rip off Hancock. Everyone is so damn afraid of him, so damn in love with him. He thinks he is invincible. I wanted to show him he wasn't. Well, you chose me well. I'm the one person who could challenge him. Too bad for you I have no interest in actually doing it. You lied to us, Bobby. And you have to pay. You can't do this to me. This isn't how this is supposed to go. Oh, yes it is. Fine. More for me. Come on. Ow! Gotcha. You're on fire. Fire! You're mine now. Blast! I have to say, I'm not really cool with how this went down. Yeah. Bitch lied to us and almost got us killed. Aren't you cool with Ginger Minge? Bobby got what was coming to her. I don't know. Did you have to kill her? Well, I'm out of here. Sorry for almost stealing from your boss. Later, loser. To draw its victims into quite a different system. But let's go back to this earthbound religion you for made the... Following under the banner of Marx and later that of Lenin and Stalin. You made the right the move. The communists have always clearly identified. How did you find us? If you think Hancock doesn't know about everything that happened. As long as capitalism yeah, Get down here where I can fucking see you. Cannot live in one or the other will triumph. You know what? I'm gonna go up here. How's that? All the militant spirit that communism has whipped up since Lenin and his revolutionaries. Here we go. You made the <coughs> you made the right move. Hey, beautiful. I always make the right moves. Bobby lied to us. I'm glad it shook out this way. I was itching for a fight, but I guess this works too. Here, take this. A token for doing the right thing. Hancock will be happy to hear about your loyalty. You should go pay your respects in person. It's best to stay on Hancock's good side. Trust me. Hmm. And what about staying on your good side, darling? Crap, I'm way down. Hey, McCready, you can take this thing. I don't want any ammo. I want to give you shit. Hey. Hey. Well? From coast to coast, Hardcore Rebs continue to use every available technique. Never mind. Me. Heads up. To the minds and control the behavior of loyal Americans. And in Take a this damn gun. Cases, it's too goddamn heavy. So. Alright, we should probably get out of here before uh, Hancock accuses us of stealing time. anything. Each of you will agree that it is in the interest of Christianity, and even your self-preservation, that we know this evil force bet on world domination and dedicate ourselves to resisting its growth. Next week, we shall examine our own system, capitalism. But for now, class dismissed. All right. Let's see here.
So we still have to go kill, um, what was that? Oh, right. Still have to go kill, uh, those two, um, two of Sinjin's cronies. And, uh, we have to head over to Hallucinogen, which is here. Okay, let's, uh, let's set that up. Uh, that, that on. There we go. All right. Oops. So it looks like Vault 114. What is it, meat? I don't need a hard hat, thanks though. No, nobody here. Oh dear. Hey, let's just let's just head up here away from that. The shit. Who is that? <laughs> Getting tired yet? There you are. I was just starting to have fun. Well, now we're having more fun. On him? Killing people. Take all that shit. I mean, why not? You're my way, McCready. This appears to be the place. Oh, hello. I'll take those. Looks like you guys uh, aren't doing so good here. Folks say every single ghoul goes feral. It's just a matter of time. That's a disturbing thought. The hell was that? Sure, I know what I'm getting into in here. The chemical leak has oh, been detected. Be what? <laughs> oh, hi. So, what's that about a chemical leak? That's how we do things around here. That's what I call a firm kill. I'm not gonna get him. Not right now, anyways. There we go. Damn it. <laughs> Almost got him. What a waste of time. Alright, so, uh, everybody going crazy up in here or what? Seemingly. Hmm, technical document. Another one. Fan fucking tastic. Alright, I got no idea what's going on up in here, but, um. Drugged water. Fascinating. Alright, looks like I need to go that way. It's about the only way to go. So let's go that way. Ooh, hello, Fusion Core. Please evacuate the building immediately. Who? Who's there? Oh, nobody's here. Don't you worry, none. Everybody wants a dirty tan suit, don't they? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Damn, that hurt. Huh? Uh, sweet, delicious drugs. 
empty duffel bag, eh? Alrighty then. Come on, just leave it. A trilby? No, thank you. Hitman's Rhino Pistol. Ooh, that is one crazy looking gun. A chemical leak looks powerful too. Detected. Please okay. evacuate the building. Jaguar. What are you? Do I have one of you? If you want to carry all that stuff, at least let me carry some of it for you. Oh, shit, I am over encumbered already. God damn it. Hey. Crowl at me, meat. Take this stuff off of my hands. Get rid of that shit, too. For the moment. Now, where was I? Please evacuate the building. Mm, I have a pretty high tolerance for drugs, so I'm good. All right, seemingly nobody in this room. We all know how I feel about duct tape. Got it. And wonder glue. Looks like you've done that a few times. You know, a time or two. I don't want the fucking clipboard. I'm guessing that reminds you of the old days. You guess wrong, bitch. We're not doing this on that, sentiment. Right? Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Oh, hi. Oops. Hey. Oh, wait. Still alive? Hey, what the hell? Like Somebody's having fun. Hey, you'll all. Bugs! Kill them! Kill them all! Oh, hi! Light just got real, real weird in here. Well, hello. I have no idea where all this noise is coming from, but it's apparently coming from upstairs. Look at the shadows. Ooh, this is actually good. Where's Heather? Uh, oh, Heather. I need you. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. I can hear you stomping around in that power armor. Where the hell are you? What? Huh? There you are. Alright, come on. What, can you not fit? Get out of your damn power armor. I wanted to ask you about something else. Shoot. I need you to get out of your power armor. Roger that. Now, follow me. Huh? Huh? What was that noise? Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Let's see what I can do with that. That's what I told you to do. Well. Where? 
hell are you, woman? Roger that. Ugh. Why won't you follow me? On it. Why was Heather unable to hack the terminal? She wasn't even near it. Let's see what I can do with that. Please evacuate the building. All right, we'll be back in a moment. Alright, so we're back. Heather unlocked that terminal for me. I stuck her back in her goddamn power armor. There was nothing good in that terminal. Uh, but, I did... Uh, she did level up in her hacking abilities, so that's nice. So now she can finally unlock advanced terminals. We're splitting all that, Ooh, right? look at this. Bingo. Fantastic. I'm going to read that now? McCready, what the hell are you doing? Get back to work. Please evacuate the building. Sweet. Yeah, I'm a pretty awesome dude. Should have uh, realized that about me by now, McCready. Oh, hello, 45 rounds. And drugs. Still not a whole lot in this room, considering it was behind a locked door. But whatever. This is the way back to the entrance. Dead gunners. Well, luckily, they've done most of my work for me. What with killing each other and whatnot. Has been detected. Greedy, such a damn mouth. Robots. Well. Sure. Let's turn them on, shall we? And let's see, maybe... Yeah, let's turn them into medical responders. I don't know what good that will do, but it might be funny. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Protect and serve. Protect and serve is right, bro. You are injured. Nuka, Nuka Cola. Maybe they'll try to bring some of the dead people back to life. That would Who's be funny. There? Nobody's here. Don't you worry about it, lady. A chemical leak has been detected. Please no. evacuate the building. Hello. And goodbye. Yes! Oh, he up there. Blast you. Oh, I appear to be on fire. That's not perfect. Okay. Stim packs I like. Fusion cells and stim packs are also good. A Desert Eagle pistol, you say? Well, oh, alright. Getting all sorts of interesting pistols all of a sudden. That old stuff worth anything? Yes, McCready. Why are you so dumb? Maybe that's why you're poor and I'm rich. Because I know what things are worth and you don't. Requires key, huh? Well, alright. Let us keep moving. In there. Security lockdown what? is now in effect. What? 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 A security lockdown is now in effect. Please hmm, what's going remain on here? in your test chambers and await further instructions from your lab attendant. I don't think you can get at me, can you? Stop opening fire! Stop! What are you opening fire on, McCready? Seems like the, these guys are all locked in some sort of test chambers. Yes, just the way I like it. Die, die. 
I die. Die. <sighs> More drugged water. Are they fighting or having sex? I can't quite tell. Maybe they're lifting weights. Uh, I didn't. I didn't mean to take those. Let's get rid of that. Grr. Get out of my head! Get out! Right? No. No, we're not. Hey. Here, I've got more things for you to carry, meat. Take uh, this thing, too. There we go. Alright, so these two are fighting in here. Fist cuffs. These two are fighting in here, fisticuffs. This one's in here acting a fool. Coming. The voices. They, they say. Looks like I could jump down there if I wanted to, but I don't. Let's see if these test chambers are good for anything. Yarg! Here we go. Gen Labs observation area. Please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and development. Well, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Hallucigen's eradicator provides your forces with a state-of-the-art field decontamination solution. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> You're mine now. Small amounts of residual radiation may persist in the effect. Oh yeah, area. he's real Dosage dead. Subject to change pending safety evaluations. Invisawave from Hallucigen is a new advance in the field of stealth technology, capable of doing away with cumbersome personal generators forever. Some subjects may become inaudible oh, and or intangible. Effects may be permanent. Further research is ongoing. Just turned everything in that room invisible. That's pretty cool. Criminal scum? Don't get a gun. Try Hallucigen Suppressor, a safe, reliable, and effective way to paralyze even armored targets. Side effects Get may include the partial and or complete paralysis of the user, bystanders, small animals, and or large animals. Discretion is advised. I was very discreet. Hallucigen Gas, reliable crowd control since 2055. Hallucigen gas can stop a riot faster than any other product on the market, and without the messy side effects of our competitors' offerings. Use with caution. Unpredictable sensory experiences may result. Subjects exposed to high dosages may suffer catastrophic adrenal failure. That sounds good. Hallucigen's dispersant is ideal for peacefully clearing an area of civilians. <laughs> Hallucigen is not responsible for any damage, injury, or loss of life sustained in mass panics that may or may not result from cool. the use of dispersant. Right, that seemed to kill him. So, despite the fact that all this is supposed to be non-lethal, it all seems to be entirely lethal. I mean, I'm okay with that, but I'm gonna guess they're not. <sighs> what the? What the what? The chemical leak Ooh, has been detected. No, no, bad ah, kitty, go away. The bad building. kitty indeed. Right, where the hell is Heather? I want to unlock that uh, terminal too. Any of these buttons get us out of here and give us a whole bunch of caps for our trouble? Uh, yeah. No, oh, look, they're all open now. Well, that's the invisible room. Neat. <laughs> so don't play with that thing. It's apparently not just a uh, high-tech butt plug. No, 
stop it. Right. I guess they were fist fighting because they didn't have any. Where are you guys? Hey, your dog's bleeding pretty bad. Where are you? I don't see any red blips on the map. I have no idea where the hell you guys are. Stop fucking with me. Do it again. Yeah, I guess it is. Where the hell are you guys? No, no, bad kitty. Go away. Go away. Alright, I see meat. I see McCready. Heather, what are you doing? Yes. <laughs> you, you, you can't get away from the gas. <laughs> Alright. Oops. We're gonna have to use a little a little magic to get Heather up there. It's under my skin. Uh -huh. Get it out, get it out. That's what she said. A chemical leak has been detected. Please yeah, that works too. I'll take a look at it. Alright, out of her way, fools. You might want to get in front of it. There you go. Hack that shit for me, girl. Give me a sec. Show me what you're, you know, working with or whatever. Got it. Alright, now get out of my way. Hallucinogen Observation Lab Procedure. Greet VIPs. Introduce Hallucinogen. Relevant Products. Activate Automated Demonstration System. Observe Automated Demonstration. When malfunctions occur, trigger a different demonstration to switch focus. In the event of catastrophic failure, or immediately following tests of the Eradicator, escort VIPs to the conference room for a marketing presentation. Clear labs of test subjects, blood, and fluids. After a test of the er eradicator, notify facilities to replace the test chamber. Oops, there's something else I meant, was meant to read. Oh uh, yeah, turn off the security lockdown. The security lockdown has ended. Please, evacuate the building in an orderly fashion. On it. Get in your power on the girl. You always seem to leave your power on the stupidest places. Detected. Please evacuate the building. Like places where it's going to be next to impossible for you to get back in it. Ugh, Christ. There you go. <sighs> Nothing like power armor. I mean, there are things like power armor, but... Eat. Uh, stop bugging out, man. <laughs> you, you can't get away from the gas. Hey. Well, you could get away from it if you left. Yeah, that's just an idea. Can't take much more. Oh, hey there. Whoa, I shot the painting off the wall. A chemical wow. has been detected. You're not going to need that stuff Please anymore. Evacuate sure aren't. Um, okay, well. Now, what's going on up in here? When did you start collecting antiques? Don't make me carry that worthless crap. I think I should, just so you fucking stop complaining every time I pick it up. I am going to make you start carrying it. Expert. Oh, that's going to be beyond Heather's level of uh, expertise. But not beyond mine. Okay, so it's not circuitry. Uh, could be surrender, sure. It's not, but it could have been. Evacuate the building immediately. 
Yeah, could be that. That's it. Sweet, and it was that. Senior staff briefing. Review third quarter financials with Paul. Lunch with Damien. Human subjects protocol review with Dr. Everill. Ethics review board. Offer water. Greet VIP Colonel Thomas Nelson, U.S. Army. Scythe. Review slides for procurement conference. Post demo sales meeting with Colonel Nelson. Open her up. Find anything useful, or are you just wasting our time again? You get a little awful fucking uppity mouth on you, McCready. No, sir, I don't like it. A chemical leak has been detected. Please bugs. evacuate the bugs, building. Bugs, 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 bugs. They're, oh, shit. they're everywhere. Hey, hey buddy. There. You, you aren't real. You aren't real. Hmm. I wonder if I should put him out of his misery. They're, they're everywhere. I'll just leave him. Maybe he'll recover at some point. Probably not, you but... You can't get away! You can't get away! Don't tell me what I can and can't do, alright? Got it. Skill you have there. Yeah, I'm pretty great. Bugs, bugs, bugs! Neat. Move it. Give me them caps. It's under my skin. <laughs> get it out. Get it out. Man, he is having a real psychedelic freak out. It might have been more humane to just kill him. It's under my skin. Ooh, mainframe <laughs> terminal out, access. Out. Well, novice probably isn't going to level her up, so I'll just do it myself. Damn, I could go for some fries. Uh, enter. No. Trade. No. Third. No. Entry. Could be. I'm through. Uh, let's see. One administrators and zero users are active. Critical system failures have been detected. Evacuate the blah, building. Blah, blah. Okay. Oh, sweet. I've got the master password, bitches. Bugs. Ah, what bugs, can I do bugs, with it? Bugs, bugs, bugs. Hmm. Is that a minigun over here? And how did you lose when you had a minigun? Is it the next question? It's under my skin. <laughs> get it out, get it out. Hmm. Well, I guess this is what I'm using it for. Open up, bitches. Actually, seem to be doing damage to me. A chemical leak but has um, been detected. please evacuate the building. Know. Let's go over here. Maybe there's some, you know, negative side effects. Right, decontaminate. Picking practice in. Nice. Good. Has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Oh, well, hello. Oh, shit. Is he a stealth boy? Yep. Yeah. 
The Minutemen send their regards. Oh dear, that's bad. I can't tell if I hit him or not. I'm gonna go over here. You're mine now. You are dead. Okay. Hey, is he toast already? That was quick. Yeah, whatever. We're splitting all that, right? Yeah, sure, whatever. Give me the key, give me the note, give me the mission brief. Give me all that crap. Uh, incendiary powerful jaguar. Sure, we'll if take you it. Wanna carry all that stuff, at least let me carry some of it for you. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I'm tired of your goddamn mouth, McCready. Where the hell did you go? Heather. Hey. Yeah, what is it? Oh, you shouldn't have. I didn't. Combat rifle. Give me that. I'm supposed to use your goddamn sniper rifle, moron. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give you some weapons because um, the, the rest of the shit doesn't, uh, <coughs> doesn't, do, uh, doesn't clear up my inventory enough. So fine, you can have it back along with uh, this Jaguar thing. And that. You can have them all, friend. Now. Is that is that what I need? Hallucinogen gas can hallucinogen gas canisters? Is that uh, what I came here to get? Mm -hmm. Might as well take them all. Don't make me carry that worthless crap. Oh, don't worry, I will. Well, let's see what we got here. Test results: Invisiwave. Third test, complete success. Admiral was impressed, inquired about shipboard installations. Your Invisiwave is five mirrors, two hacked stealth boys, and a trap door. Makes for a splashy demo, but you really crossed the line this time. Sales wants 200 units by December. Good luck with that. Uh, Eradicator. All biological and chemical contaminants destroyed. Subject in test chamber received 5,100 rads radiation. Observers left the viewing room before subject's skin disintegrated. Test chamber stripped and reconstructed. So you've built a two-ton machine that irradiates people. What part of handheld field decontaminator did you not understand? Points for getting the VIPs out before things got messy, though. Subject... this is for dispersant. Subject survive test. Failed to recover from treatment. Ran screaming at sight of own child in waiting room. Police still in pursuit. Update. Apprehended. Subject institutionalized. Dispersant is supposed to stop riots, not start them. This entire line of research is a joke. I'm transferring the project to Karen. Center your files and destroy your samples. And clean out your desk. Product. Hallucinogen gas. Despite new formulation, gas still caused traumatic adrenal gland rupture and frenzy in four-fifths of subjects. One survived initial exposure and began to acclimate before being beaten to death by the other subjects. Adjust dosage, retest. At least this is making progress. If marketing would just position this as a military-grade chemical weapon, we'd be done here. Would make a good grenade or artillery shell. Hmm. Idea. Suppressor. Subject successfully incapacitated. Paralysis appears to be permanent. Transferred to Medford Memorial for monitoring. You were the lead engineer on the damn Mesmatron, and you can't even get crowd control pacification right? With one of your own prototypes to reverse engineer? What, did they mez you on the way out? You're the highest paid researcher here. I expected better. Well, that's fun. Now then, about hallucinogen ja gas being a uh, good idea for a grenade, let's collect as much of it as we can. Bingo. 
Yeah, I'll take the ruptured ones too. Why not? Alright, did you have anything I wanted to... Anything else I wanted? No, no. Uh, take that. Do, 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 do. Do. Maybe it'd be better if we moved out of the radiation. Gotcha. All right, is that all of it? Tears to be all of it. How many, uh, the shit. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. I don't know where it is. Is it an ammo? No. It's not in weapons. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, well, I guess that's about it in here. Looks like there's a back door. Onto the esplanade. <laughs> All right. Oh, I leveled up. When did that happen? I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, let's see. Let's do... Yeah, let's increase my rifle skills. Blam. Alright. Now, I get these two idiots to kill. One's here, one's here. Let's go here. I should put the shroud outfit on. That could be difficult, though. Hey. Need something? Time to split up the loot? Sure, if that's what you think. Take some of my other weapons. Take that lever action rifle. I probably won't use that. Take, um... Take that. Um, I'm take that. Things I'm not using. Mm, take. Uh, I'm take the sword too. Legs on, and I guess the arms as well. Well, it looks a little goofy, but it'll do. heard some weird things about this place. Keep your eyes open. They're open, Heather.
with the silver shroud use a laser musket? Yeah, why not? Wait. Oh, hello, boys. Surprised how much damage you guys can take considering you're in fucking slacks and suspenders. Is he running? Uh. Hmm. Look at that. <laughs> you don't see that every day. Oh, better put a calling card on him. Well, you're not going to need that stuff anymore. Nope. Who the hell's smiling Larry? You're gonna eat Chuck it, motherfucker. Kill for me. You look like someone who wants to do some trading. Um, what are you doing out here? People want something. Smiling Larry finds it, brings it to him. The whole Commonwealth knows me. Do they now? What about doing some trading? Let's see what you've got. Smiling Larry always has something you need. Do you, though? I've never heard of you. Hmm. You don't really seem to have anything I need. Okay. Well. Ball by now. Okay. Now, as for smiling Kate, let's hug the water. I think that'll be the safest way to go. I think they were some kind of pre-war bird. Folks say they'd suck you dry, just like blood bugs. Um, you're an idiot, Heather. Bye, bye, Mr. Ghoul. Yep. Looks like I stirred up a whole ghoul's nest. Peace. Why do ghouls always hang around churches? Maybe they're the only ones stupid enough to believe that shit. Hey yo. <clears throat> All right. Who's this? Legendary Raider. Just randomly walking around the street, huh? Alright. <laughs> You're crippled. Some legendary Raider you are. What makes you say that? How's that glowing green thing over there? Mistake you'll ever make. Hmm. I'll take that. And all that. Hmm. What's going on up in here? A lot of nothing. All right, keep moving. Are you fucking kidding me? Heads up! Incoming. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Get up! Get up! That wasn't even 
worth wasting my I'm off. How that? Sneak up on him, shall we? Maybe something silenced. I am the shroud, after all. I should be kind of stealthy and whatnot, right? idiots. Hey gang. If it isn't the boy behind the costume. No, it's the boy in the costume. Naughty, Mr. Shroud, making all my friends so nervous with your calling cards. Taking out Sinjin's favorite toy soldiers. But now it's time to rip your goddamn heart out. Is that what you think? Okay, time for some drugs. Medics, of course. A little bit of psycho. And some jet. And then we will switch over to... Hmm. Um... Yeah, we'll use that. You boys ain't gonna like this. Oh wait. God damn it. I meant to also pop a stim pack. Oops. Alright. We're back, and this time we're approaching it from a different direction. Come out and play. And boy, do we just have the best little chew toy to sink our teeth into. The legendary Silver Shroud. Sure, the Shroud's already killed some of our best, but so what? That just makes the bounty even juicier. Pack your gear, Juicy. Because we're going to go murdering soon. Sounds like a party. Excuse me. If it isn't the boy behind the costume. You've been really naughty, Mr. Shroud. Making all my friends so nervous with your calling cards. Taking out Sinjin's favorite toy soldiers. Yeah, I'm pretty great. But now it's time to rip your goddamn heart out! Good, good luck with that. Who else wants to play? Blast! Now then. Find the Silver Shroud. Well, that's a clue, I guess, right?
Sinjin's little gang. If you want to carry all that stuff, at least let me carry some of it for you. Hey. Auga. There we go. All right. I guess that's uh, about it, really. That's what we had on the agenda for today, so... Let's head back to Good Neighbor, shall we? I'm gonna put my regular stuff back on. Wham, wham, wham. Alright. Back to Good Neighbor it is. Let's uh, read this note, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's a halty. Anything? Anything? Guess we better check on Kent next time, but uh, for now we're gonna kick our feet up and uh, relax. And until next time, Solomon out. What's up, everybody? Great Pirate Solomon here. I'm gonna keep this outro real quick because this episode ran long. Thanks for watching episode 14. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and click on the pirate head over there on the right. Subscribe for more. If you uh, want to see what else I'm up to on the interwebs. Go ahead and like my page on Facebook at Misadventures of Solomon. Follow me on Twitter at GP Solomon. And if you want to support what I'm doing, go ahead and head over to my Patreon account at patreon.com backslash greatpiratesolomon. Give me a buck or two. And if you want to see the last episode in the series, go ahead and click, click on the video window there on the left. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Solomon out.